Welcome back. Today, it's uh, kind of cold outside and it's time to bring something to heat the house, you know, the room. The <laughs> Today, I have one of my favorite uh, setups that is the GTX 295 VHS model in Quad SLI. Now, bear with me. This is uh, something that I have to run it through Windows 7 because of the drivers, software, configuration, MS Afterburner, FPS Monitor, all of them, they need to... Uh, it should be in a specific order in order for everything to work perfectly. If I put it on a new system, then it doesn't run. Just keep this computer with this i7 4 gen. Massive, massive CPU for this uh, old setup, but it doesn't matter. We need to focus on the 295 today. This is the most important thing ever. Um, it's loud. So on IWC, it's on 61 degrees. They are cleaned, but yeah, they, they don't care. You know they are hot as hell so i think the majority of them they will be around here let me let me put this on the side and you can actually hear it so you understand what i'm talking about so the only problem i have is the the it's not uh, it's not very well balanced seriously <laughs> look at this ooh 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 SLI that it doesn't kick in only when you are over 700 series All right I'm in graphics DirectX 10 1080p everything it's on low details with advanced graphics frame scaling mode off yeah, so I got like 40 50 fps it's kind of weird because it's only the second GPU from the the second core from the first GPU is working and I have to take a high-end car, you know, to see how it's running when I'm on high speed, when it's trying to load, then the whole crap. <laughs> uh, look at the spikes now. Oh, oh, frame time. Yes, I can't run SLI on this. It needs to be very uniform, both of them at the same time. So 65% and all of them 5% is not okay. And the spikes on frame time, oh, look at that. Yeah, not the best and not the idealest way to play GTA 5. Wish I can have F actually FPS monitor to see some minimals and lows. I think the VRAM is the limitation. We could look, look oh, it managed to reach the v maximum VRAM. Damn, it's it's not the core that is is the trouble. It's the VRAM. So you had the 295 with more VRAM, it would be an ideal, seriously. So let's see if we can actually lower the VRAM usage because apparently that's the only thing that is limiting the GPU from actually running, yes? So if I put it on graphics, we're gonna go on, let's say 720p or something, 720p. See, if we can get a, a, a small chance, get this small opportunity to lower the VRAM, 800, 700, yes, this is much better. So theoretically, the frame time will be a little better. Ah, no, whoa, the moment I accelerate, it ramps up back. Look at the VRAM. <laughs> you feel the, oh, yo, 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 yo. again, that's it. So what do you think about 800 by 600? Do you go full bananas on the VRAM? Let's see. Ah, I don't like that. Let's see. 856 ah it's filling up the VRAM no and he's lagging ah. <laughs> oh. okay so it's about texture yes you, you oh. damn you all right let's go in settings advanced graphics with 0 0.5 frame scale cut the 800 by 600 in half lowest resolution half of the render scale a lot of spikes the vram is not enough i think gta 5 is not the right game but it came close because uh yeah it's gta 5. <laughs> i don't i don't think this is the right game to to represent this con this configuration you know this quad sli you know i wanted to test gta 5 with those uh, 295 because of the setup itself now this second game, I just wanted to test it for myself, you know, I don't care about what is right, I just wanted to see how it's running, my favorite game, that's it. You know, I know how it's uh, running with SLI, I just wanted to show that uh, 
yeah, I can play my game. Low details, actually we can put it on minimal. We're going to see which one is better. Maybe minimal or low, it doesn't matter. And uh, I got Vsync on because I want to lock in so I don't... See, the GPU is already overheating and it's only in the menu. <laughs> so this is low details and maybe we can actually... Actually, we can put it on minimal so we don't... We, we don't need excess details here. See? See? This is the, how it looks here. I think we're going to ramp up the fan ourselves, seriously. Minimal and low. It looks more textured and it, it looks better, you know, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, so is it fluent? 60 FPS? Yes, uh, the frame time is not that hard. So it does work. 45 so it's under 50 the the load on one single pcb from one gpu that's actually good so if it's like this with 58 or something percent on the fans locking it to 60 fps the game it's uh, it's a natural if i had to play uh, some or some older games i would definitely want to have something like this for an older older computer like a retro system you know but i need the custom games i need specific games that are designed for this and if i want to do, go retro and get myself uh, the old games and play old stuff then i yeah i will do something like this because it's fantastic you know but um that's the only problem because time to time I want to play like a game like this, like World of Tanks. And yeah, having a test like this on an older system, 295, ah, it's just uh, lovely to see. It's working semi crooked, only one PCB is doing the job, you know, because uh, the game is not optimized for SLI or Crossfire. But regarding that, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's kudos. Oi. Look at that, 295. Tuna 95, Tuna. That, that thing, bring it back. No, now how you... Ah, oh, it's with gold. Uh, now that Overwatch 2 is free to play, there is still no support for older video cards. So in order to play something similar, you need to have a balance in between them. So Paladins is one of them for older hardwares. Today we're going to play it with this uh, SLI and see how much it doesn't work in SLI. <laughs> but I don't want to stress it because it's uh, kind of hot, this system. So I'm going to keep it with 1080p, low details and uh, VSync on. If I, if I disable VSync, it goes up. Yes, 100. Ooh. Okay, actually, we're going to keep it like this without VSync. All right, how are we doing? 170 FPS. That's a good uh, uh, That's a good number. I'm getting those FPS because the VRAM is not fully loaded. You remember in GTA 5 how we did? Maximum, v, maximum VRAM and it was everywhere, regardless of the court load. You know what I'm saying? So if the code load is not fully loaded, the VRAM is not fully loaded, you get 170 FPS. Look at like this. And it's magical, seriously, seeing all hardware like this running. I actually thought I had to put um, uh, VSync on, but I don't need to put VSync on. Yes, 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 yes. You're gonna die. Oh! Whoa, that was a nice push. Come on. I missed my ultimate, but it was okay. Well done. Well done, GT 295. I in love you seriously so this is a must game if you want to have this quad sli in your system all right let's uh, let's continue on uh, finding the right game for uh, for the setup i'm gonna keep uh, 720p with uh, low details i think and then we're gonna jump into the game and see if it's uh, holding you know the quad sli my freaking god how nice is working the system this is this is exactly what i need for this
Yeah, oh, look at that. 70 degrees. Yeah, actually, the good temps. Very good temps. And it's not fully loaded. I can actually increase the resolution, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to stress because of the temperature. 70 degrees, it's okay. All jokes aside, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 1, but let's try Black Ops 2 because, uh, yeah, why not? So, you know what? I will put on this one on the lowest resolution, 800 by 600, because I'm afraid of the VRAM, you know? Black Ops 2, seriously. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Black Ops 2, 720p, everything on low, yeah? So, I had to put 58 or 6, over 60% on the fan because the GPUs are getting really hot. And, uh, yeah... This is a fantastic game. I remember back in the days, every, everybody was starting from here, seriously, making videos with this type of games, you know? So, yeah, imagine 2022 playing with 295 GTX and uh, Black Ops 2 again. Yo, how I managed to miss... I don't care. I don't care. I'm having so much fun. And uh, my GPUs are still on 70, 70 degrees. So this is kind of cool, even though they are loud, you know, and only half, half of the cores, half of the core is loaded. That's, that's magnificent. This is how you become better when you have an older game like this and you put it on high refresh rate and uh, you kick ass. Wait, 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 we can't do nothing without CSGO, seriously. So we... I put it on the lowest resolution, that is 800 by 600, 4 by 3, and everything on low, I think. And uh, I made the MS Afterburner low as possible because I want to maximize the, um, the FPS as much as possible because uh, this is something that I hope it's working, but I know it's not working. Ooh, it's very spiky, so hence why I think that was the, the deal, even though. There is an input delay, it's like really, <laughs> I don't know, it feels very janky. I think if you unlock, um, if you unlock uh, the GPUs and give it only one core, I think it will run much better with, without SLI. I'm 100% sure that's the problem, you know. So it's not worth having SLI for CSGO because, uh, yeah, it, one single GPU is, is doing fine. Even though it's got 600 megabytes uh, of VRAM only used, yeah, it still has problems. <laughs> I kill him, he kill oh, whatever, I don't care. It's lagging until he loads. I don't, I don't, no, that's it, I don't want to say it's just go, it's just go, you're not my friend. I, I had enough with online gaming because I, I know online gaming gets uh, lots of patches and updates and they, they don't do nothing about SLI, so I'm not even going to bother. So I have a quest in the future to find older games that are very good to the old hardware and that's it. It's, it's like a mission, you know? So 295 quad SLI, I think it's well balance with older games like this one perfectly well balanced not enough uh, not barely managed to use the vram sli on 64 degrees what's which which one is the most uh, heated 65 degrees that's the first pcb from the second gpu fantastic setup this is how it needs to be oh what a slow slot hey don't do that look at them That was not cool of you, but uh, hopefully we can pass. We need a we need a long, straight road, and then we can uh, boost the crap out of this car. Oh, awesome uh, uh, performance! Seriously. I wish I can knew how to unlock this because uh, it feels very fluent, but it doesn't need more. It doesn't need more FPS. All right, disregarding my uh, driving skills, uh, now you we have to go 
we have to go in surviving mode because uh, aside from Fallout, there's other games like Metro and Stalker that are freaking awesome for this uh, type of setup. And uh, I didn't have the opportunity to play games like this for a very long time because uh, I didn't have two GTX 95. <laughs> now I have them and I will show you how it's running in Quad SLI because they are running fantastic in this game, seriously. 88 degrees, oh my god, this game is making the whole thing explode. Alright, we're gonna keep it here and the whole thing because it's nearly melting. Metro is one of those games that need to be played on this <laughs> setup, but for some reason I have to lock the FPS and I don't know how to lock it. Controls. I wish I can put F vertical sync. I'm gonna put uh, V sync on. I'm gonna use it like this. Yes! 60 FPS. So with 60 FPS, maximum details, you get 33% load on each core and 76, 79 degrees on the, on the course. Okay, this is better. Oh, this is good. There was a trap there. So there is a lot of loading here until I learn the place. <laughs> oh, so I cannot shoot that guy. I cannot do nothing. It's like the only thing I can do, maybe just take this gun and just go straight. Seriously. I think this combination of, uh, uh, of GPUs in an older computer is uh, mandatory when, <laughs> when you know how to handle it. It's like having a muscle car, seriously. But to have it as a daily driver is very hard. You, need, you really need a dedication. <laughs> you need to educate yourself really well in order to have stability, temperature, um, good frame time, good FPS. You need to know which games do you like. Do you need to know which games uh, do you need? It's like a list of stuff in order for you to have this to exist in your life you know so gtx 295 it's it's a challenge but it's very rewarding when you you made it happen <laughs> i don't know how to say it but uh, this is even today is still a fantastic thing to do you know 295 quad sli and uh, i really really encourage a lot of people if they want to go into retro and get them if you have the opportunity to buy them cheap buy them and then do not let them be thrown into the recycle center or keep them have them uh yeah aside from being horrible not very efficient with the power consumption very loud hard to, uh, to maintain them in games with fps aside from that i, I recommend them <laughs> but nevertheless what do you think about them i want to hear your opinion